Hey, welcome back. I'm in a Steldin. Look. I'm level 28, and I'm in a Steldin. So much has happened since the last building video that was in... Um, detach those that was in the old forest but um this is a state of play video which was um a new uh it's a new sort of series i started last time if you've um if you watch that where i discuss in a way certain aspects of the game um this time it will be um the producer's letter that i'm going to talk about that's it that's because it's too um too powerful for me. I'm not used to quests being out of my range yet. But um Yeah, it's um so this will be the producer's letter and the recent uh, hot fix which fixes fixes um the rep items issue. So I will um be discussing those. I'm gonna try and um, Could I speak with you a moment? You know, it's quite difficult to... Can I speak with you for a moment? Might I'm I try and play and talk at the same time. And, um... Could I speak with you a moment? That's going to be a bit difficult. But the first bit of news is... The first bit of big news is, um... Is obviously we have a new executive producer. Aaron Campbell, Rowan, has moved down the hall, we said, to uh, make a new game for Turbine. or work on a new game that Turbine's making. Um... And, uh, can't go in there yet. Right, I'm going to have to just get these quests going. So, um, yeah. And we've got Vivienne Peters, who's just taken over. And she has just written a, a producer's letter that I can't really imagine too many people being upset about. Um, and why can't I imagine that? Why can't you imagine that, Mike? Well... Because she pretty much is giving us everything we want. Um, and let's take it. I mean, I don't have the list with me, but I can remember most of it. But um, first of all, obviously, we're going to Osgiliath, which, uh, you know, is complete win. You know, it's great. Osgiliath, Faramir, let's do that. Let's move on. All really, really good. Um... So, looking forward to see how that pans out and what happens there and meeting Faramir and, you know, there's Faramir and, um, did I say Faramir? Because there's Faramir and I can't wait to meet Faramir. Um, uh, hopefully I've remembered correctly that Faramir is at Osgiliath because then, if he isn't, then, uh, me saying Faramir all the time just makes me look stupid and uninformed. Um, Hello, friend. So there you go. Could you help me with something? Now, now, I suppose the biggest news is, you know, something that we've been looking forward to, perhaps, but, uh, but you know, not quite there yet. But still, we're getting a new instance cluster um, in Osgiliath. Three man and six man has been confirmed. No, not raids or instances. So, um, so that's good. And um, and we'll see how they go. But yeah, lots of people have been uh, calling for it. Lots of people have been... Um, lots of people have been sort of calling out for them. We discussed it last time with all the problems that were there. Um, but um, it's... Um, It's, uh, yeah, they're coming. We're getting new stuff. It, it's not a new raid, um, but it is an instance cluster. So that's all pretty, uh, that's all pretty good. So I'm, I'm really happy about that, and hopefully you are as well. It's a skirmish camp. Never knew that was here. How's that, how's that going on? So that's, 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 that's the one thing. The other thing is that um, player versus multiplayer will also be getting a new map. Um, but won't be released at the same time as Osgiliath. So that's uh, that's 
So far, far is it away? Good. So um, that's good news for them. Although I have read on the forums that they are rather sceptical, because basically um, they've been promised a new map before, and they haven't been given a new map, and this sort of. So they're sort of saying, you know, please let's get it, or you know, our turbine will hate you, and all the kind of things that people usually say on the official forums about, you know, turbine being rubbish all the time. Which is something I'll never quite understand, you know. I don't like it that much. Stop playing the game. Um, anyway, that's something completely different. So, new instances coming. Excellent news. Other news, game-related content news, is that we're getting something called episodic content, which I can't remember the exact wording of it. But she um, detailed that you kind of going back through Middle-earth... And, um, go, yeah, go, going back through Middle Earth, re revisiting places in a different way. Now, this might have something to do with those, um, it might have something to do with those, um, what's it called? With those wan wandering, um, roving elites that were found in Angmar, the kind of that had placeholders. So, you know, that. But it seems like we're going through old places and seeing new kind of um I would be grateful for your assistance. And seeing that we're seeing new areas in a different way, as it kind of said. So that's all pretty cool. Um hey, I finally found where I'm going. I finally found out where I'm going. Hope Might you lend me an ear? That's a fellowship quest. I can't really do it. But um let's uh, go to the next one. I might ask if someone wants to fellow up later, but uh, right now I'll just uh, ride around Middle Earth talking to you about it. <laughs> Probably gonna backfire on me. Oh no, oh, yes, it did. Um, so yeah, that's all good. Um, we've also got the. Um, yeah, so the episodic content, I'm not really sure how that's going to play out. I'm very interested to see, though. I think it's a good idea, generally, uh, going back through Middle-earth, um, revisiting places, you know, kind of making use of, of, of the assets that are already there. Uh, talking of assets, I've kind of thought of more about the idea behind big battles, and probably, again, we'll see the same thing here with the new instance clusters. That I think, you know, I'm guessing... The idea with the with the raids. Great coffee. You can probably hear from the fact by the way or so see the way I'm playing and the way I'm kinda of losing my track the whole time. I'm I need more coffee. But um the idea I think with those is that it's it's it is um, as we know, it's a cost well, as we sort of suspect, it's a cost saving uh, exercise. But I do think it's because that um that you know, to create a raid, you have to create an indoor environment. And if I sort of remember the 12 men that I've, 12 men that I've played, then it's, um, then, um, you know, they're all new. They're not really reusing any kind of assets that have been, um, that have been used before. So in order, so if you, and if you recognize with the big battles, they've already made the Helm's Deep landscape environment. They've already made the Pelagia, they've already made the Gondor. So it's much easier then to reuse those assets to make some group content than to, um, than to uh, you know, create a whole new raid from scratch. So we'll see if Osgiliath has actually any new content or, um, or if it's again uh, reuse. I mean, I don't mind it. It's a reuse of ash um, uh, assets again. If, um, if if Turbine wants to save money there, give group content. Um, hopefully, get some uh, good loot from the raids and make them fun. Then they can reuse as many assets as they choose. I just don't really need the uh, yeah. So, but I'm I'm just not one to moan about things. Maybe that's just me. But I don't um, yeah I don't really moan that much. So. Uh, quest herbs and simples. I don't really want to do that. No, so, um, so yeah, that's um, 
that's another thing. So the episode of content's coming. Now there's more kind of, I suppose, back end stuff here. Oh, thank you. Um, where there's talk of now server merges, which is, um, I suppose, a lots of people have been asking for that. People saying that you know they're not populated at all. Um, what do you need? Mind my words, traveller. And another fellowship quest. Um, let's just do this last one here. Which I suppose, you know, again, is Turbine listening to the community. Which again, they've been uh, what they've they've been completely accused of not listening to the community, and now they are. But you know, believe it or not, you still go on the forums and people are still moaning about absolutely everything, and calling them Turbine and saying how rubbish they are, and uh, all those kind of things. And you're kind of thinking again when you read this yourself, if you really are that disgruntled, if you really are that disillusioned with the game and the company that makes the game and you've lost all respect, etc, 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 stop playing the game. Um, it's, um, but still, that's not my decision to make. For you, it's your decision. But, uh, you know, sometimes it really, yeah. But anyway, so server merges. Um... If she's qualified her statement uh, slightly after she's um, after she sort of made it that um, apparently you won't be able to uh, change from US to US server as of yet or as of right now just because there's so many conflicts that could happen so that's not going to happen they've also kind of I think they're from what I read or what I understood we're going to get a sort of a server list like a populated list of and so to help us where to choose where we want to go they've already got an idea of the servers they want to close um i, mean, I don't want to stick my neck out here but it sounded also like she said that it's going to be free to change server so it seems like they're trying to consolidate the game it seems like they're going to try and close servers people lots of people again been complaining about lag that's fine that's fair enough that's a yeah, valid complaint seems like turbine have kind of realized that and said, yep, you know, there is lag and there's going to be new servers, I think, European servers in Amsterdam or something like that. And that's going to make things better. So, you know, it's all good news. I mean, what's bad news about it? A free server transfer, the game will run smoother and there'll be lots of population. Um, you know, I can't see a problem there at all. And that covers the main points, really, I think, um, of the producer's letter. If there's anything I'm uh, forgetting, I'm not sure if there is any kind of major point. They said they're going to obviously, you know, try bug fixes. You know, there's a Skiliath, there's the instance, there's a PvP instance, and there's the server merge. And that's all things they're working on for the first half of this year. So if you're thinking of paying the $25, but hey, there you go, talking about population, there's another player in a low level. 31. Good man. Or girl, obviously. So, yeah. So, that covers the producer. I'm, again, my overall impression is um, overwhelmingly positive. I mean, what is there to be negative about? Okay, the only thing we're not getting is that a traditional 12-man raid, new raid. But I think um, I discussed that in the last one. i still got an enmity of goblins, have I not? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go on with that. Let's start killing some things. So, um... So yeah, we're not getting the traditional 12-man raid, but that is pretty much it. There's more goblins up ahead, I remember. So that, But that's pretty much the only thing we're really not really getting. You know, people obviously want new character models, and they want, um, you know, and they want all these things, and they want kind of 1080p high-definition um, sort of first-gen graphics. But that isn't going to happen. So, um, you know, again, if you want though, if you want things that I don't, that I think aren't feasibly going to happen, then again, you know, another game, play one. Um, or if you're going to, I mean, not not if you want those things. Obviously, that's, that's it's not fair. There's not, nothing wrong with wanting those, but expecting them and chastising Turbine and chastising Turbine for not giving them to you, I think is a bit sort of lacking in perspective. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, for the producer's letter. If you've got any comments to anything I've said, or if 
you have a reason why you don't think it's positive that I haven't mentioned. You know, it's not, um, you know, this is not just for you to listen and, and me to be right these videos. There might be a very valid reason why you're negative um, about the uh, about the producer's letter. So it'd be really interesting if you would, uh, you know, in the comments, let me know why. And then in the next one I do, then I'll say, you know, well, I was maybe wrong about that or I hadn't thought that through. Um, user X came up with a, a pretty good reason and, you know, and I'll put it in there. So, but yeah. And the other thing that uh, changed that's come, there's been a recent hot fix. And um, again, me with my kind of not understanding anything at all. But the recent hot fix is now because of people farming turbine points. Have uh, has stopped them from being able to from being able to uh, do that anymore. So it's basically what it's done. It's made rep items. It's made rep items um, only respond to a certain level. And the idea was you could roll a Bjorning in uh, pr pretty much five minutes. And get out. I mean, roll the beyonding in five minutes. It doesn't take a long time. But you get out of the opening area in five minutes. And if you've got lots of alts that have um, acquired loads of rep items throughout the game, and you've got a whole kind of treasure chest, treasure chest of them, you can um, you can basically just send them all to um, your newly uh, rolled beyonding. He will then click them all, get rep with those items, go up in the stages. With those, with those factions, um, even if he's completely, you know, level 10, he can still be sort of like, you know, rep with Rohan, and then glean turbine points for each stage that way. Now, so that basically means turbine have set up a free-to-play model, as you know, where you can play the game pretty much to the North Downs, up until the North Downs, completely for nothing, and um, then. You can carry on the epic quest, I think it's until like level 90 or 85 for nothing. But if you want access to the questing areas, then they want you to pay. They also want to make um, things like I'm doing, like deed grinding um, right now, and they get this goblins thing. They want to make it, you know, if this is too boring for me, then I pay some money. So that's their whole kind of business model, really. You can agree with the business model or not agree with the business model, you know. But at the end of the day, they have to make money. So if you don't agree with the business model, then uh, then that's fine. But again, if you don't agree with that, then, you know, don't play the game. But people are obviously upset about it because they want the game to be completely free. Pretty much. I can't really see any other reason for that. They seem to... Uh, they seem to want to be able to play this game and roll loads of alts and invest loads of their time in uh, in basically uh, getting a completely free ride and um, getting round, finding a, I don't know if you want to call it a loophole or an exploit. I'm not sure what the right term is. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. It's just a word. But, but they're... Um, but they seem to be, oh. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, come on. But they seem to be very upset about, I don't want to kill all these wolves, I'm not interested in them. And there's another one. And there you go. People who say clicking is bad just been proved right there because I've just dragged that one down so I can't change into a, a bear. That was a bit annoying there. It's a little bit annoying. But let's... Uh, there you go. Put it back. There we go. So, um, yeah, so basically now you can't do that. You're going to have to buy the points because, because then what it means is once you've rolled your Bjorning at level 10, then I don't know, maybe only sort of Brie, Cardo, Lan trinkets are going to be available to you and um, that's going to be it and you're going to actually act actively level your your character to the various levels 
Now they've said the levels they've placed them at are kind of only placeholders. Like I think Matham start at level 35. I think that might be a little bit early. So you know there are some kind of valid complaints there. But as far as actually um, oh wow great even more presents. Um, as far as um, the principle of the matter goes, I can't really see a problem. Now, I had a good discussion with uh, Brax Wolf. I mentioned him last time. He writes for Lotro Players. He's got his own YouTube page. He makes podcasts also about games and gaming. Check him out. Um, but what he was worried about, and I think this is a valid criticism, um, is that people now will stop playing. They'll think, well, screw this. Um, you know, I can't get this whole game, you know, these, I don't know, million man hours game for, completely for free anymore. So I'm going to stop playing, which will again, which will further decrease population. And, um, and I can see his point that an MMO kind of lives and dies on its population. But then we go back to the earlier arguments that we had last time that, you know, most people solo this game anyway, but again, so, but then again, you know, it is an MMO and the fact that there are people around, you know, maybe those people will at one stage get bored with grinding and actually buy some turbo on points. Um, you know, there is still that possibility that that will happen. And if they, um, and if they stop playing altogether, then that, that ability is, com that, um, ability that possibility is completely negated and I think that's um, his concern and um, I can see that and I agree with it in part but I still feel that you know these people know what they're doing and I mean it's not stealing of course it isn't stealing but these people know exactly what they're doing and they're, they're taking advantage and so they're not making any money and if again we take into my uh, consideration my arguments for last week about things being a cost-cutting exercise and Turbine obviously feeling that they need to make these these cuts in order to maintain the game, then I think, you know, having point grinders is, um, you know, maybe a kind of a luxury problem to have and just letting them get on with it and thinking, screw that. But... Turbine uh, said themselves that the problem's getting out of hand. Again, I have no reason to disbelieve them. So I feel that it's good. I think it's good. I'm glad now that people cannot... Who is it? Oh, I don't want to fight that wolf. I th I'm glad that people cannot um, grind points any longer to be able to play this game for free. I want you all, hopefully, to, you know, if it was my wish, everybody to buy at least three or four lots of points a year and be VIP. Obviously, if you're a lifetimer, then, you know, you took an advantage of, a, of an offer Turbine gave you. Absolutely no problem with that. But the game simply, you simply won't get the things you want. You won't get the changes you want. You won't get the raids you want unless they're making a lot of money. And I think that really is what it uh, boils down to. Nothing to do with uh, them not caring about their player base, them not listening. Um, it, it really is down to finance. Um, obviously, you know, you can prioritise that finance, I understand. But I think something like a, a new raid, which we all want to see, let's be honest, we all want to see one, they need to make money. And if you, so if you want that, then start giving them your money, start getting everyone in, in your kinship to give them your money, and, um, you know, get new players to play the game, and get them to subscribe also. So then, you know, we can all get the game that we want to have um, so that's pretty much all I've got to say which was a great deal really so just to recap quickly just to go over it the producer's letter Oskidiath Faramir fantastic we have new um, um, instance cluster three men six men fantastic if they're as fun as Pelagir six men really recommend you try it um, then fantastic um, I don't do PvMP. Uh, I'm not a PV. Uh, I'm a PVE kind of guy, not a PvP kind of guy. But they are hopefully getting their new 
they're hopefully getting their new uh, uh, map also so they can hopefully be very happy with that we're getting new episodic content which is a new way to go back through old areas fantastic sounds like a good idea you know can't wait to look at that we're getting server merges which is what uh, a lot of people want seems like they might be free or at least turbine are going to really assist you're not going to have to guess which server's populated at least they're going to give you a list so that's great um and we have the changes to rep items uh, which means that people can no longer basically uh, skim off the top and um can I do for you? and and take turbine for a ride so i think that's pretty um I don't know, I think that's good news all round, is it not? Is it not? Is it not? Let me know what you think. You know, I really do want to know. I am interested. I think um, that many of you who watch my videos now will see that as soon as, um, you know, I get a comment, as soon as I can, I reply to it. Service. So if there's anything you want to discuss with me, then uh, obviously let me know because I will, um, you know, get back. I will talk to, to you about it. And if I think it's a really good point you're making, I will obviously bring it up in the next State of Play video. So, um, yeah, I hope you like this, and uh, I enjoyed doing it. Sorry about the stuff at the beginning. I was completely sort of out of it. I had to think about what I was going to say and sort of riding up and down on a horse, not really knowing at all what I was doing. So, um, but anyway, have a great weekend when you get there. I'm going to edit this up. I might sort of cut out a little bit the things where I'm sort of going, burr, burr, burr. but, you know, um, it should all be fine and dandy. So have a good one, and... Um, yeah, you know, like, subscribe. Over 300 subscribers now. Thank you very much. Um, happy with that. Um, yeah, keep sharing the videos to get sort of more people involved. That would be excellent. You know, put it on Facebook or something. Put it on Reddit if you like. Whatever. That would be really great. Um, and, um, yeah. And until next time, bye-bye.